On to Baghdad. Then we got this game set up. We've been watching uh, some videos. Always catching up on the history. And of course, checking out all the information they give you here. And it's some, uh, it's some interesting uh, historical background. I gotta talk a little bit. We got, we got people in the house, and like I said, the girlfriend's got her, her arm all slinged up. But uh, yeah, we got uh, the Ottomans. We got the Ottoman-backed rebels or partisans. And we got the British. And I just set up the old uh, British units on their first move. And it, it, this hex is connected to the coast. They can bring them in here. So I got some supply units with them and some other units. But uh, yeah, this is all about the Brits versus the Ottomans for the Persian Gulf. Germans are back in the Ottomans and uh, Russians and the British are on the same side. We'll be back. All right, like I said, this is a big aspect of uh, World War I and it was definitely untouched. And a big uh, thing to do with it was the Germans wanting to counter the British in the Far East. And one of their main objectives was the old Berlin to Baghdad radio railroad that never got never got connected. But uh, as you can see here, the Central Powers Ottomans will be coming in this way. I guess later on the Russians will be coming on here. But uh, most of these units were put on here as um, deployment points. But I put in the partisans. You can see I put them in the key road junctions. Well, my first move, I had to buy some units with my, uh, what are they called, recruitment points. And here's what I bought. There you go, a division headquarters unit for support. And it's all about supply in here too, so I got these units will supply everybody in the hex, and this unit here has a four hex range, you see over there in the corner. Figuring out where to move. We'll be right back. Alright, so we don't know how it was done historically, but uh, the bridge is going to start here, go for Basra. There's a big railroad junction coming up this way too, so this will be the focal point. Like I said, I'm not, not really sure how to do it so historically, but I'm pretty sure the push is going to be up this way. And the fight will be on. We'll be back with more game mechanics. I right, also bought me some uh, air support. You can see that there, that little staging area. One of the bad things about the game is uh, trying to... This must be made for uh, sitting around the table. <laughs> because a lot of these... I take pictures of with my camera so you can read them. And I look at my charts on the camera, actually, but that's the only, only thing I noticed about this game. Uh, it did start out with 13 uh, recruitment points. Used them all up. There's zero. Uh, another thing to point out is the uh, victory hexes. It's all about these hexes with the stars. That's what you're going after. Uh, and you can see some other ones here, mostly. I notice around the edges of the board, ain't much going on in here. So, uh, like I said, it's all about the victory point hexes. And all that good stuff, weather has to do with the time of year. This is 1914, it's the summer and fall. So we're getting going. Like I said, the Brits have made the initial move. Look how I was able to deploy them anywhere within, a, I guess, an old city are on the coast of uh, Persian Gulf. We're back. So we bring in the British in through the uh, reed marshes. I'm sure they love me for that. But uh, old Abadan is considered under siege. Even though this is a coastal defense unit, it still exerts a uh, zone of control in this game. Whenever a zone of control hits a city, it's under siege, so I'm not sure how it makes sense, but I'm not sure how realistic it is for a coastal defense unit to put that under siege, but we'll see. The key thing here is to bring these units, this massive British force. It's 
kind of slouch through the swamps, cross rivers. Maybe get right here. Another thing, as I can see, there's a error in my initial deployment, so now I know how the game's being played. I'm going to move my partisans along to this set of city hex right here. We're going to try to attack on uh, partisans in this city, which is, well, there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt that one. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, even know. This here isn't a uh, victory point hex. I'll have to look that attack over again. Partisans of Persia you can't go across borders, so that's a, another restriction. But that is what I'm thinking, and uh, so far, that's about it. Check out this game on On to Baghdad. I guess what it's all about is heading on up here to Baghdad, World War I. Look at some movement restrictions, game mechanics, we'll be right back. All right, we're back here with the Ottomans versus the British. And uh, at the time, I think they were called the backwards uh, country or empire <laughs> of the East. But uh, I'm sure the people, at, or the soldiers at Gallipoli would uh, disagree with that. And uh, Ottomans made a good showing, so we'll see what we can do with them here. Oh, what am I thinking of here? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go try to see how this attack goes. Get the idiosyncrasies. But uh, I was gonna mention something else about this game, but I forgot what it was in my train of thought. There are some German units to come in, but they come in via a vet. So, uh, we'll be back. Looking at first moves. Uh, I was thinking about the agents. And uh, agents are used to place partisan units. So I guess you put them on in there when you're ready to flip them over for partisans. You flip them over on their partisan side. More intrigue and irregular warfare. We're back. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and move the whole kit and caboodle on into Abaddon. And the stacking restrictions are three divisions. I only got one division there and a bunch of support units, so that'll be fine. Uh, another big thing about this game and about the times was uh, good old oil fields. And the British would have maintained their grip on them. I think there's another one right here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, where did I see the other oil field at? Maybe this is it? Huh. But anyway. Oil. British were switching all their ships from coal to oil. And, uh, yeah, that was key. Uh, we will have to find that other oil field. They're all down here. I thought, oh, here you go. I was right. Yeah, the British were in control of all of it. And, uh, Germans definitely wanted to interrupt that. Let me turn these units the right way. And there we go. Oh, I forgot what this Kuwaiti unit was. I guess I put it right there. All right, so that'll be the first move. We'll see what goes on with these partisans. I was thinking about bringing them to the border. To, uh, oops, that makes sense. <laughs> I was trying to straighten out this map. I'm sitting there trying to pick up with this uh, pen, but look at this. Can't pick it up, why? Because it's under the freaking plexi. <laughs> oh, fun in the old war room section of the man cave get this plexi back on here straighten everything out you can see here that they got basra as an improved port that adds to uh, uh recruitment points so you get recruitment points for all the victory point hexes you control and also recruitment points for improved ports besides uh what you get on a roll of one die so that's how you come up with a recruitment point total for per turn, but we'll be showing you that in the learn through. All right, so I've moved my uh, British Expeditionary Force. I'm getting ready to see what I'm going to do with the partisans. We'll be right back. All right, another thing I'm noticing is the difference in technology. The Ottomans get their supply via camel. <laughs> Caravans, I guess, via the motorized uh where are they what are 
ice trucks in the UK. Oh, another thing is I'm still working on my parsons, and it might have been a bad idea. Now I'm thinking about it. I should have been. I should have went with the original, which was keep control of those victory hexes. So I think that's what I'll do here. Throw it to road and it's a victory hex. Since we know how the game's going on, and I am playing a solo first, learn through. We'll be back. All right, then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the partisans and the victory point hexes. That'll do it for the movement. Let's look here at the uh, secret to play real quick and show you what I've done so far. Allies go first. Uh, in this game, in this scenario, you skip the event phase and you go straight to mobilization. So we did that. I got my recruitment points and uh, expended them to mobilize those units I showed you I bought. Player in this phase conducts a uh, convert static so we can move, flip your supply units over to mobile or static. I did that with that one unit. Uh, reorganize and rebuild units. We didn't use that yet because it's still early in the game and build infrastructure. We didn't do that yet because I believe all the infrastructure is built, at least by the allies. The um, central powers unit can do something with Baghdad. I'm not forget what that's called. Uh, railroads and entrenchment, none of that came into effect yet. We moved up here to movement, which we just did, and now we are going to the combat phase. We are, uh, be right back. All right, so we're here for the first combat, and I got these units up here uh, that are attacking on top. Another thing is, now that I know the, how the game works, I will not have a unit flipped on over. He would have been static, and he would have been right here. Now that I know how the game works, I wouldn't have done that. I would have brought all my mobile units with me into Ad Adadan or Abadan, whatever that was. So anyway, here's the first attack. We're going across the river. We're going to hit those uh, coastal defense units. Here's what we got. We got a 15 for the division, five for the headquarters, and a three for the little brigade. Comes up to 23 total factors for the British. The Ottomans have a two. The way you add that up is you divide that by two equals 11.5, but in this system, it times that by 100. This is what you come up with. Now, I have a column shift for a, uh, well, it's just a town. Let me look over here. Uh, should we see uh, town uh, odds oh, zero? What does that say there? Zero T H I zero T I H. Huh. Be right back. All right. Uh, means other terrain and hex. So the town don't mean nothing, so he only gets a, let me see, for the river. Uh, major river or Lake Hexide, that is a major river or Lake, Lake Hexide. It is a, uh, well, let me see here again. Major river or heavy Lake Hex. Summer fall turns, that is summer fall turn. Keep it in the white, it's a one column shift to the left. So, we're all the way over here, 700 plus, one column shift to the left, we'll leave this column. And I believe that's how it'll be done. Uh, there would have been another two column shifts, I think, if I would have went for the old city. That'll come on up now for support units. Let's see if I want to use my air. I think I'll save my air because that's a pretty good uh, side of the combat results table. We'll be right back. All right, like I said, I want to enable air support for this attack. It's pretty easy. Uh, you don't have any central powers, agent, or air staging areas or units in the staging area. Hold on a second. All right. So I believe the attack will begin. Uh, I can roll over everything else. Oh, running out of battery power. We'll be back. <laughs> 